My name is Ingus, and I'm on a mission to collect all the best items in old school RuneScape. And after nearly 20,000 bosses killed since the first episode, my bank has finally passed 7 bill. We might now be considered ultra rich. But who knows what awaits us next? Welcome to the 8th Circle. Now, if you've played old school RuneScape before, then you probably know that Sarachnus is not a high level boss. She tops out at about 1.5 mil an hour, and that's not including Scythe Charges or Blood Fury. So why then would anyone choose to camp this boss? Well, let's take a closer look. Uh-huh. Okay, you see, hidden beneath this subpar loot table is actually the best rates you're gonna get for a hard and elite clue. If I turn these in to master clues, then there is a slim possibility that I could make billions, billions of, GP. of GP. The third age pickaxe is going for well over max cash, not to mention all the other third age pieces. I could finish this series if I land one of these. I know, it's kind of a stretch, but we've already seen worse odds. Am I right? Okay, I think we are all ready to go here. Now, killing Sarachnus is fairly straightforward. After a few hits, she'll shoot a web at you, stopping your movement for a few seconds. Just switch your pair to range until you're back in melee distance. She also spawns these little spiders to attack you, but that's why we wear Missouri because of the high magic defense you don't take as much damage. Lastly, Scythe on Slash is best here, but if you don't have one, any good crush weapon will do just fine. First kill of the video. Let's see. Dragon Med Helm. Yes, there we go. The first elite clue scroll. Let's go turn this in. Not even 30 kills later. There's the second one. Before I get too carried away here, I'm going to sell some of the extra stuff in my bank from the last few videos because I have not been keeping up on the organization. All right, recovered at 12 mil. There's probably more stuff, but this freed up. 70 spaces so that's good enough for now oh got a trade <laughs> guess <laughs> shizzly bear is giving me a dragon spear may it give good rng i don't think i mentioned this earlier but there is kind of an upfront cost for these clue scrolls as i will be opening implings to get all of the clues to turn in yeah not cheap 184 masters completed already and this is what the log looks like never in my life had a single gilded or third age piece so if we see one in this video that would be insane oh hi didn't see you there have you tried factor before well if not then this message is for you factor is a service that delivers healthy and ready to eat food straight to your doorstep i mean let's face it fast food isn't that fast anymore and with delivery apps you end up paying like over double for the same food factor saves time and money which is why i've partnered with them for a third time on this channel because i believe in the service it's very convenient just open the front door and boom there's a box next step me hungry how about a grilled filet mignon into the microwave and all it takes is just two minutes for a delicious and healthy meal there we go and look i'm still logged in not a single tick has gone to waste and if you still need some more convincing well how about 50 percent off your first order plus free shipping that's still an incredible deal even if you end up not liking it the meals are absolutely delicious and nutritious use my link or go to go.factor75.com and use code pogingus aug50 for 50% off your first box. You can also just click the link in the description or scan the QR code with your phone. Big thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Look who just showed up. The alt account has arrived with supplies and will act as my bank. Scythe is absolutely insane here, by the way. Ooh, you love to see the egg potatoes. Gets us a longer trip. Nice, there is the third elite clue scroll. Very first casket of the video. Oh my gosh, I love when that happens. First impling jar, we got a hard clue. I really don't enjoy doing some of these clue scroll steps, but one thing that makes it bearable is just getting a bank tab set up with all that you need, even the dragon's eye step, which is the worst one by far. There's also a lot of wilderness steps, so I'm going to finally, finally build an obelisk in my house. 
may as well build the fairy ring tree right here as well since i had them separated before so vigora can be in one of three places in the game depending on your account and if you got one of the other spots that's not in the wilderness i'm very jealous oh didn't mean to open that but 400k loot on the first casket i'm not even joking this is the fourth time i've gotten this step fast one nope and nope 580k though and back to the boss <laughs> oh Sarachnus cudgel yes i forgot it even dropped this oh no everyone knows what i'm what i'm doing now <laughs> <laughs> just outed myself on the first day oh gee it's not rare it's not that expensive either but we got a new slot another elite clue that is crazy these are so common here 500 kc already i am enjoying myself being at a boss that has 50 kills an hour especially since we're just coming from bandos which is not even half that another clue how am i getting so many of these Oh, you love to see the hard clue that saves me some money on the magpie implings. And there is the third elite clue. We can go take a break. I forgot to change spellbooks. Fed away casket. That is the dragon weapon arsenal right there. Dude, I literally just got back. Kind of a close one, but look at those kill times. 39 seconds. The scythe uses three blood fury charges per swing, so it gets very expensive. I'm just gonna stock up on these shards. 666 kills. We are finally starting to slow down on the clue scrolls. I think I was just getting really lucky at the start there. See, I'm torn because I love killing the boss. It's very chill. You just sit back, relax. But at the same time, we're not going to make money unless we get clue scrolls. Drop off some stuff to Harry, get some more potions. There we go. And we're back in the arena. I don't even know what the max is. Oh, sh oh God. It'll be capped at 30,000. Okay, yeah, that's cool. No way. I just got a back to back. What? I'm a firm believer in not stacking clue scrolls. Just open them. This is so annoying. This is the worst. Uh, I'm almost considering just dropping thralls. Because <laughs> every time I fucking do this. Ah! Let's see. Oh. Mmm. Mimic. Okay. First mimic of the video. This is how I kill the mimic. Two claw specs. One. Two. And let's just shadow it. And he should be pretty much dead. This is a spin. Oh, no. It didn't go off. No. Here we go. Oh my god, gilded! Yes! Yes! Gilded vampires, dude! Very first piece of gilded. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. They matched the Maysori. <laughs> what? That is actually so cool. I'm keeping these. I am 100% keeping these. These gilded vampires prove one thing. For Shizzly Bear, it works at Jagex. How else could he have done that? Give good RNG. Good RNG. So naturally, I asked if he could bless all of you guys as well. Subscribe to Ingus. Okay, counting six unique rolls on average per casket with some rough napkin math that turns out to be a 1 in 2500. All right, we are back at the spider. Whoa, what the what the what the first day the <laughs> second day <laughs> oh it's too good <laughs> it's too good well this may just be the fastest pet i've ever gotten <laughs> okay <laughs> man i was really strapping in for this one we did it it was a long grind but uh you know, I think we can rest now. Of course, since we got the pet, we have to go for the transmogs as well. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> no, no. I literally just asked them. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it. There's also a blue one, so I may as well try and get that real quick. I have no idea how rare these are. I'm going to check later. But let's see here, how many grubby keys do I have in the bank? 25. Ah, uh, dude, I, I really want to look up the drop rate. I'm just going to keep buying keys. Here we go. Let's get another 50 in. Wait, do no way, dude. 
No way. Did I miss it? There's no way I missed it. Ah, well, there goes a lot of money. Ah, yeah, I got two of my bank right here. Ah, damn it. I just lost 10 mil. That's more money than I've made at Sarachnus so far. That sucks. Well, at least we got the blue one. There we go. Blue spider. I think the orange looks better with my setup anyways. So, yeah. We're going to stick with the orange for now. No way. No way. Absolutely no way. No way. No way. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems to me that whatever I had going on with Faux Shizzly Bear has completely broke the game. That is a second pet almost back to back. See, I remember when I was a wee noob and I didn't have a single pet and look at me now. Got 12. And there we go, back on the clue grind once again. I'm not even gonna give this a second to process right here. I think this is the last one. How about third age? Third time's the charm? Oh, there's a new one, the mummy's hands. Nice. Nice new collection log slot there. Oh, uh, just realized that's actually kind of rare. Yeah, that's- that's the rare one. <laughs> Alright, this kill's gotta be lucky. Ah. So, I was bored, and I somehow invented a new meta at Zarachnus. At least, I think I invented it, because I haven't seen anyone else do this in another video. Correct me if I'm wrong. I was noticing that the time that you're stuck in the web is actually kind of long, and I was like, wait, maybe I could do a shadow hit through here, because shadow is so accurate that it'll probably still hit Zarachnus most of the time. Max hit is like a 53, even with a four-way switch. I know here I'm using an eight-way, but yeah, it's incredibly good because at most you might miss like one or two ticks on the next scythe hit but even if it is one or two ticks late that still means that you're tick positive if that makes any sense but yeah doing the shadow switch every time you get webbed makes the kills way more consistent i would say on average my kill times are about 40 seconds give or take and that is doable with the scythe alone but it is not nearly as consistent as using a shadow to get that extra dps obviously the scythe is going to be way higher dps but you literally can't hit it while you're webbed so this is just free damage. I'm very aware that this is some niche information. I don't think most people are killing Seracnus with a scythe, let alone having access to a shadow also. But hey, in case that's you, there you go. All right, we are already up to 900 kills. Ooh, another Seracnus cudgel. It's a shame these are not worth that much. I'm not scared. Just to open this. Okay, well, okay, <laughs> let's give this to the bank. Let's get, I think you could actually lose these. Fade away. Ah, what? The, the ring of third age? I thought it was, that is not fair. That That is mean, Jagex, come on. You didn't know what it does? You can turn into any of the third age items with it. Just like that. That's pretty cool. I think I'll keep this. Now, the ring is technically a third age item. However, it is way more common than all the other pieces. Still very cool nonetheless. I think I'll just be storing this in my POH. Oh my gosh, I just found a lucky imp bling. This, <laughs> I've never seen one of these before. I have the perfect level for it too, 89. How many tries does this take too? There we are. We got the lucky impling jar on the Seracnus video. Okay, cool. I'm going to put this in the bank and maybe we'll just open it at the end. That'll be fun. 492k. 497. Right back into the clue scrolls already. We just got back. 1,000 Seracnus kills. And this will be casket number 200. <gasps> oh my. We, we actually got something good. The red obsidian cape. Beautiful. Collection log slots are really starting to get up there. Look at that. Good morning. We have another day of Seracnus ahead of us. 1200. First time I've had to re-up the scythe in quite a while. So up until now, I have not noticed any money draining from my account because I had so many charges, but now we're going to start to feel it. Back on it again. Also, I am using the six-way mage setup. It's kind of sweaty, but got to have my fun somehow. Back to back clue step, you love to see it, especially out here in the wilderness. 
Bruh. There's a lot of people killing Sarachnus, actually. Like, sometimes you can't even find a world. All right, Scythe hit. And Shadow. And back to Scythe. Look at that. No takes lost. Hey, there's our fourth cudgel. Nah, dude. <laughs> That's not real. <laughs> Three pets, and then I'm guessing now I'm gonna go drive for the jar. 1,500 kills, officially halfway on drop rate for the pet. I was wondering where these were. There we go. Another elite glue. Nope. Nope. Maybe? Oh, one mil. Okay, that's a good one. That's a good one. I'm not gonna complain. That's a good clue. I may as well just stock up on some blood shards real quick. Uh, tens probably overkill, but with new updates coming into the game frequently, may as well just put these in the bank and not have to worry about it. <laughs> One thrust by 1600. <gasps> yes, the jar of ice. Yes. <laughs> no way. My luck is actually crazy. Come on, Jagex, make me work for it at least. Fastest green log of the series by far. It's not even close. Well, I mean, Cal Fight Queen technically was faster, but overall time spent is much lower. All right, let's see. How much money have we made in loot? 32 mil. Honestly, that is better than I expected. I was hoping to do a lot more clues, but yeah. Maybe we'll return here in the future if we really need to. All oh, right, right. We got a lucky impling. Let's open this. Let's see what we get. 190 nature roots. Okay. Even though we almost certainly lost money on this grind, our bank is somehow increased by like 200 mil. We'll thank the stock market on this one. Well, we did it. It is now time to finally move on to the last. <laughs> Stupid adventure. You've fallen right into my world. Did you really think that was the eighth boss? 